So this is something that I've contemplated here for some time and finally took a chance and actually had the means to be able to to make this video. Um, I've always grown up raising chickens, had chickens for a long time. Um, finally decided to go ahead and get my own to have some eggs for myself and for my family. Um, always loved getting the eggs. It was nice not having to go to the store and, and purchase something and, and then bring it home. Just knew that I was getting it right in my backyard and that they were fresh and I knew exactly what was going into them and I knew that I was taking care of them and that they weren't cooped up in some super small little cage for their whole life. Um, contemplated, um, you know, what I would do my, with my chickens if I ever had to go anywhere, kind of like a, a contingency plan or an emergency plan. Um, but as you can hear right now, this little fella isn't doing anything. No sounds, no nothing. But my 16 week old hen was kind of loud. Uh, usually they are very, very loud and like to cackle or just go ahead and make a lot of noise after they lay an egg. And if it was any kind of thing for an emergency um, and there weren't any eggs around that anyone could buy, they would hear my chickens and that could be a potential target for, for me in my house because of that noise. Um, chickens do kind of require a lot of it of space, roughly about five to six square feet, whereas these little quail really don't take up too much space, obviously because of the size. Um, it takes probably about four quail or so to equal about the same amount of one chicken egg. So that is something that, that I've been looking over and, and considering with these little guys. Um, yeah, some places don't really allow chickens. And so a lot of the urban farmers, um, or even urban homesteaders, however you want to refer to them, can't really take the opportunity to have their own chickens and have their own eggs. But these little guys would probably give someone like that the opportunity to be able to raise their own and still have fresh eggs that they could be able to have and support their family with. This little guy came to pass because I found an abandoned quail egg. It was just out there when I was working with the work that I do. Happened to come across it on the ground and it was a gambler's quail egg. So I'm like, okay, well, I thought about raising quail for years, but didn't really take the chance to do it. Excuse me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, instead of letting this egg just die out here, I might as well go ahead and try to hatch it and see if I can raise it and hold on to it or something like that. Uh, as the chick grew in the incubator, I've realized that if I don't give it any playmates, it's not going to really be very social with any other animals. It's just going to have humans to interact with. So I decided to go ahead and throw in some chicks just so that it would have some friends to play with and it wouldn't be alone. Um, the chicks ended up getting too big for it. This little, this little guy is only three weeks old. The quail that I had was probably about half this size at this age while the chicks were this big. So if you can imagine, I'll show a picture here in, in a little bit comparing the size, but they were ginormous compared to this little baby chick and it was getting trampled a lot. So I went ahead and, and bought five quail, five baby Tornix quail or Cordonix, um that were four weeks old, exact same age. And they were the perfect size for it. Now, obviously once they became like six to eight weeks old, these quail grow so fast, they were much bigger than the quail. It was probably about this size, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the full size adult looks like. And this is how big she was compared to it at six weeks old. She is currently 16 weeks old. She's a full grown adult. She's been laying at about seven weeks old and I've been getting eggs almost every single day. So roughly about two and a half eggs a day and I have three females. But she's very, very quiet. 
She is very, very calm, well-tempered. Wish I could give her a bigger cage. It's currently about six square feet, but it's enough for her and her little friends. Um, these really don't require very much food. It's probably less than half a cup for four of the quail. And they're quiet, dead quiet. Very, very calm, very easy to handle. Whereas with a chicken that I don't hold, I don't hold these every day at all. And my chickens would probably just run away from me. They don't like to be held, they don't like to be around. So yeah, they're three weeks versus 16 weeks. They don't really get any bigger than this. Um, chickens are very, very free spirited. They like to run around, they like to be with themselves but they're very, very loud. And it's one thing that I've been noticing about the difference between these two is that the size, yes, chickens are noticeably larger, but the quail at six weeks can start laying and actually start reproducing eggs, whereas the chicken takes about six to eight months. And within that time, I can probably get about 25 chicken eggs out of her if I'm taking about four eggs to each chicken egg. I can get 25 chicken eggs before she will start laying her first egg. Now I'll go ahead and bring her out here in just a second. That way you can be able to see her and compare her. I don't know how these are going to interact with the baby. So. Let's bring out our hen. Now, she is a mixed breed. <laughs> and they don't care for each other too much. She is a mixed breed. And obviously she's not like a, a leghorn, which is white. But if you can notice the size, they're huge. They're huge compared to the quail. But I haven't gotten any eggs out of her yet. But I've been getting almost an egg every single day from her. Now I've heard that there's a lot of beneficial uh, benefits to the quail eggs compared to the chicken eggs. But my idea was to try to find something that was very, very quiet, something I could take with me, something that didn't take up very much space, and something that wasn't loud. But that's my main deal is that I wanted something that I could take. So if I had to get up and leave and go somewhere for an emergency, I could take them with me. Whereas with her, I could have five quail for the size of the meat and everything compared to her, take up all the same space, but about every 10 weeks, maybe even 12 weeks, I could get a fresh new flock with her and she hasn't even laid her first egg every 10 12 weeks i can get a new flock and they've completely grown and then that flock in return can then lay more eggs and i can get another flock within 12 weeks easy they take about 15 days to hatch from an incubator hers take about 21 days But we'll go ahead and continue this video here for another time. And we'll get a little bit more into the details about why I love my quail a lot more than my chickens. Thanks for tuning in.